Hello, my name is Dr. Cheryl Gooden. I'm a pediatric anesthesiologist and associate professor of anesthesiology and pediatrics at Mount Sinai Medical Center in New York. Today we're going to discuss a recent intubation of a four-year-old, 16.5 kilogram female with a history of Golden Heart Syndrome with a known difficult airway. We use the Glidescope Cobalt AVL with a number two stat. There is now a 2.5 stat available, and for a child of this size, I would use that in the future. The Glidescope should always be inserted midline. No sweeping of the tongue is required. During this procedure, we work with a plastic surgeon who appreciates our use of the Glidescope because it provides him with the opportunity to preoperatively assess the palate. It does. Note that we maintain this patient spontaneously breathing. The cords are topicalized with lidocaine to blunt the response upon intubation. Because the patient had a known difficult airway, we avoided the use of muscle relaxant until after the airway was secured. So here are some tips that I would like to share for successful use of the Glidescope Pediatric Video Laryngoscope. Insert the blade midline. Do not sweep the tongue. Avoid going too deep with the blade as this can worsen the view. Use a semi-rigid stylet to shape the endotracheal tube. Insert the endotracheal tube parallel to the blade, enabling successful placement into the glottis. And of course, practice is important and it's a good idea to start with a normal pediatric airway.